Stalker 2 is one of my most anticipated games of 2023, but it's really starting to sound more and more like it's not actually going to be coming out anytime soon. So as you may have heard, the developers GSC Game World were based in Ukraine, and obviously they had to stop all work in order to secure their safety. Totally understandable. In the long-awaited sequel, it's been delayed a number of times over the last couple years, and while the developer currently insists it will launch next year, we recently got some intel from an insider who claims the game is still at least two years off. Welcome to Video Game Leaks, everybody. Chaos here, and we are going to talk about Stalker 2 and the delay and when we could actually see this game and get it in our hands. Make sure you stay all the way through the video to get all the information. Drop a like, make sure you're subscribed, and here we go. I wanna preface this video that even after this report came out, GSC Game World continues to say the game will be coming in 2023. So it's totally possible that this intel is wrong, but the, the issue here is it comes from a rather trusted source, and it's totally possible that GSC is just trying to avoid announcing yet another delay, which I would understand once again. It has to be super, super frustrating uh, for that entire development team. So take it all with a grain of salt, as you do with everything on the channel, but we're going to go through the entire info dump that took place the other day and see if we can actually make sense of it and figure out when we are going to get this game. Now, the intel comes from IXBT Games Editor-in-Chief, Vitaly Kuzinov, who claims he has inside sources that relay the information to him. According to the leak, Stalker 2 is in a state of permanent repair. You don't hear that one very often when it comes to a game, and there's still no working version of the game to speak of. That's, that's a crazy, I'm not going to call it an accusation, that's crazy. Now, about six months ago, a large percentage of the development team actually left the project, and apparently many of the creative heads were among them, which left the rest of the team with an incomplete blueprint for the rest of the game. Now, the source also claimed that GSE Game World didn't keep very complete records of their previous employees or the work that they did, meaning the new people they hired to replace them had to basically redo a lot of the works that were already done simply because nobody was keeping track of all that sort of thing. You, you don't really think about the layers when it comes to game development, but it's pretty deep. Now, much of the work has been had to be done all over again, and since a number of the creative heads are reportedly gone, the redone work is starting to clash with the work that was already in place. It's not, it's not gelling together, I guess. So this lack of a consistent vision has apparently caused a lot of frustration with the company and led to even more people leaving. Now, it's common knowledge at this point that pre-orders for Stalker 2 have started quietly being canceled. And while the developer still insists the game is coming next year, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. If the game was coming out in 2023, why would they start canceling pre-orders? Despite what GSC has been saying, I have to say that I believe the stories about high turnover rates and a lack of creative leadership could be true. The company seems to be in shambles right now, and there's no getting around that. So assuming this leaker is correct, not only did GSC have a ton of important people leave the project, but they weren't keeping proper records, which was naturally going to cause problems once again when the work started up again. If you don't properly keep track of who's doing what, well, you'll end up doing a lot of the same work twice. When you don't have your creative leaders keeping everything in line, you end up having a bunch of people all doing the work in their own ways, which is not the way to make a video game because then none of it's going to piece together uh, in the end product. Now, GSC have denied rumors about the Stalker 2 project being handed off to a different studio altogether, but I have no trouble believing this story from XBT Games. I really don't. It kind of makes sense to me. Now, Stalker 2 is obviously a highly anticipated game, but it's also very important for the developers to remain safe. I mean, in the end of the day, it's just a video game. I don't want to sound like I'm coming down on them at all or I'm upset with them for doing what they have to do in order to protect themselves, but there's no denying the strain something like this would put on a game development company. So what gives with them still claiming the game is coming next year? Honestly, I think it's a, a defense tactic. They don't want to admit the game has been delayed again because that would just cause negative attention, but it simply does not make sense that they're canceling pre-orders when the game is reportedly coming out. I mean, uh, they were taking pre-orders before. Why would they stop now unless something was wrong? I think the developers simply don't want to admit they need more time and they're going to wait until it's much closer to the current release date to tell us that. Now, with how many times the game has been delayed already, they don't want to add another one onto the pile until they are absolutely sure they are not going to have to uh, give another one. They don't want to admit the game uh, that it's delayed for another few weeks or possibly months. Uh, who knows? Maybe they get things back on track. 
Maybe we're completely wrong and it is coming 2023, but according to these inside sources, the game is likely going to be coming out in 2024, 2025. Now, our sources seem convinced that the game is not coming out next year, and if their information about the inner workings of the studio is correct, let's hope it's worth the wait, and more importantly, let's hope the devs stay safe. Once again, it's just a video game, and there will be people ready to play it whenever it does come out, and everybody wants it to come out complete and finished, not partial, so if it takes more time, it takes more time. I'm going to hammer it home one more time. It's just a video game, but there's your... uh, kind of update to what could be going on with Stalker 2 if you're a fan of that franchise. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon.